What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EMC. We got a special treat for you guys today. We got the 765 LT. This is the only British racing green in all of Taiwan. And this car is limited to 765 only in the world. I have to say, after selling the 600 LT, I do miss the drive. But I always knew the bigger brother was coming out. I'm sorry guys, this is not my car. I wish it was. But this car is owned by a very good friend of mine. I am lucky enough to get to review it and test drive it today. I just have to say, this color is so badass. This is what you imagine all of the British racing cars to be. It's gotta be in this color. The differences between the 765 LT and the 720S is the fact that this one weighs about 80 kg less. There's more carbon fiber body components from the front bumper, fenders, as well as the doors, and all the way back to the rear panels and the rear bumper. This car also has a lightweight roll cage and the rear hood scoop. So this hood scoop is actually a little bit different than the 600 LT hood scoop. The rear hood scoop sits a little bit behind the top of the car. You can visually see the hood scoop funnels into a tube that goes into the engine bay. Now that is so badass, and that's what makes this car so special. You're gonna hear the intake whooshing sounds when you drive it, and the suspension is upgraded. It's got a sportier suspension, and it's also got lightweight wheels, specifically made for the 765 LT, with an etched and engraved 765 LT sign on it. Right now, what we're looking at is forged carbon fiber. This carbon fiber tub makes this chassis so lightweight. That's what makes this car so special. McLarens always use a carbon fiber tub, and this one is actually a little bit different than the 600 LT. This one, I actually think, is even better. This is what makes the 765 LT so special. Just like the 600 LT to the 570S, there's actually a lot of differences on the outside as well as the inside. The 765 has a totally different front bumper. It has those shark gills that I love on the fenders and the rear. The rear is where actually it is so much sexier. The rear has got four exhaust pipes in the center. It doesn't have those two exhaust pipes. Um, I, I didn't really like those two exhaust pipes on the 720S. The rear bumper looks way more dramatic and it has this huge rear under diffuser that just makes it so much lower. The rear wing is so sexy. When you stop on the brakes, it pops right up and it creates 25% more downforce than the 720S. So what's interesting about the 765 LT is that it could actually be on the road, it could be civilized and still be the best supercar in the world right now. And at the same time, it'll still probably be the king of the track. Now, I would love to spend more time at the track and become a better driver, and hopefully we'll get to do that one day. Today, we're gonna see how the king of the supercars handles everyday life in the city. So let's get going. familiar okay but this is not familiar this is really cool so these seats oh man I feel like I'm in a race car again engine stop button right here all the familiar sounds are coming back to me now what's cool about this is I guess the speedometer right here the display uh, when you put it in track mode it tilts down and it becomes really, really raced out. But right now, in just the normal settings, it's all digital right now. This is a big difference compared to the 600 LT. Around town. It was 
exactly how I felt with the 600 versus the 570S. And every time I look back to the rear view mirror, I see this brace, this X brace. It looks so good because, you know, this is what it's supposed to have. It's supposed to have that roll cage. A lot of the guys out there with the 765s, they don't choose that. I don't understand why they don't choose that option. A lot of guys say, oh, like it messes with the rear view, but you know what? You can't see that much through the rear view anyway. If you buy a McLaren, you understand this. That tube in the back with the air scoop going down, that funnels back, I love it. It messes with my whole rear view mirror. Like I can't see anything out back. I know it's a little bit dangerous, but I absolutely love it because I'm looking at it and I can hear it. It makes this whooshing sound. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but let me try one. Here. Yeah, you hear that? It's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's, it's cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. I think the biggest difference I feel with this car and the 720S is that it's even more planted. It's even more stiff and you're more confident. Uh, and, and I have to say, it's it's a lot better than the 600 LT. And, and I thought not many cars were better than the 600 LT. Jeez. That's why they say this is the best road going supercar out there right now. It's, it's the crown king. All right, I'm just gonna give it a little go. See how it is. <laughs> there was a little wheel spin. I didn't even try to push it that hard because uh, it's actually a break-in period. Uh, my good friend is besides me. I don't want to make him shit his pants or, uh, you know, tell me uh, I gotta pay for a huge bill later on. But yeah, no, that was, that was kind of fun. <laughs> crazy crazy drive my overall impressions this car could possibly be better than the pista obviously when i was in the car i was full of adrenaline full of emotions i was super super excited i felt like it was better than the pista i could be wrong i could be wrong i know that it's not a fair comparison we do not have the pista here but when i drove the pista last time i thought that was the best daily supercar ever but today I don't know. There's a lot of things about the 765 LT that make me feel like it's better. It does a lot of these things better than the Pista. I wanna hear your opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Is the 765 LT the best supercar right now? I think it is. That's my opinion. I think it is. I know that I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate out there from the Ferrari boys and Ryan Obviously, we should get this car in the mountain roads, the canyon roads, and even go down to Libal. It would be brilliant if we could pit it against the Pista so we get a fair comparison. 
and if we could get professional drivers, go head to head. I am not Chris Harris, I'm not qualified to push these cars to the limits, but if we can get someone on the show, maybe Evan Chen, uh, maybe Tong Ge, uh, maybe one of these guys to take these two cars on the track so we can get a fair comparison of these two. But I just wanted to take this car out today, uh, get a first-hand experience, tell you guys what it's like, you know, just city driving, everyday driving as a daily supercar. And I have to say, this was better than the Pista, in my opinion. The only fault that I had were the seats. Again, these center seats, they break my back. I didn't feel too good about it, but overall, McLaren, you guys did a brilliant job. I think this is a collector's car. This is worth investing in. It is the last of its kind. Uh, everything else after this is gonna be hybrids. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hopefully we'll bring a new flavor and uh, keep watching, keep supporting EMC, baby. Take care, guys. Peace. Thank you.